द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज द इव्यूला विसाइसी इज प्रोड्यूस्ड बाय विच लोब ऑफ द प्रोस्टेट सो ऑप्शन इज एंटीरियर लोब ऑप्शन बी इज द पोस्टेरियर लोब ऑप्शन सी इज द मीडियन लोब डी इज द लैटरल लोब ओके सो लुक द इव्यूला विसाइसी इज बेसिकली प्रोड्यूस्ड बाय द एलिवेशन ऑफ मीडियल लोब ऑफ प्रोस्टेट so your medial lobe is the answer in here okay so let's see few things regarding the evula vesic so look what happens is that so there is a elevation or there is a bulge that has been noted typical in the bladder neck okay so this elevation is typically seen in case of cystoscopy right so they are typically seen in case of cystoscopy in the posterior wall in the posterior wall you are able to appreciate a uh, there is a noticeable elevation or bulge in the urinary bladder and that is just beneath the internal urethral orifice okay that is just beneath the internal urethral orifice so this is basically your evula vesici now the point is that what is the clinical significance why we are so much bothered about this yes in case of benign prostatic hypertrophy or hyperplasia what exactly happens is that there is a median lobe that basically get enlarged and that enlargement typically happens disproportionately that will leads to compression of the bladder neck as well as urethra so uh, there is a median lobe enlargement and that will eventually leads to compression of the bladder neck as well as the urethra okay and as a result of this compression that will leads to formation of the bladder outlet obstruction okay that will eventually leads to the bladder outlet obstruction that's why the patient with a bhp typically present with a hesitancy weak stream post void dribbling or there is incomplete emptying that will leads to significant pvru okay so and uh, this is why the patient will present with a bladder outlet obstruction sometimes with a bhp now regarding the cystoscopic appearance what you are able to appreciate that so there is a posterior ridge and that will be seen just behind the internal urethral orifice right so you are able to appreciate just behind the urethral internal urethral orifice in the posterior wall Uh, there is a ridge and that ridge is basically your evula vesic and that is basically your median lobe that is uh, that elevation is due to the median lobe of the prostate okay so sometimes due to the exaggerated median lobe hypertrophy it may appear as a exaggerated manner as well okay so during the tarp which is basically transurethral prostate resection or the resection of the prostate that basically done in case of bhp as a treatment uh, protocol so here we can go for targeted resection of that evula vesic just to relieve the obstruction okay just to relieve the obstruction so in this image you can able to appreciate that this is your urinary bladder with a yellow shadow and uh, this one is your trigone right so this one here is your trigone and you are able to appreciate the, if you are able to appreciate that this one is your evula vesic and uh, there is a small elevation or small ridge that can be seen right and that is just beneath the internal urethral orifice as i have mentioned in the previous slide the same things you are able to appreciate in this image as well right so uh, there is a ureter uh, uh, there is a ureter on the both side uh, there is a ureter on the both side that will basically uh, forming here the trigone of the <coughs> bladder also there is a urethra as well so here regarding the prostatic lobe and their significance this small information small uh, uh, piece of information that is your median lobe that typically situated between urethra and ejaculatory ducts so this 
your median lobe is basically situated between the ejaculate reducts and the urethra so the clinical significance of the relevance is that if you have sic and there is a enlarged in bhps enlarged in bhps now the anterior lobe of the prostate they typically situated just in front of the urethra and they are basically an fibromuscular in nature so rarely any pathology basically involves the anterior part of the prostate then comes your posterior part which basically stays behind the urethra and the ejaculatory ducts so it is your posterior lobe of the prostate is basically the most common part that get involved in case of prostate carcinoma prostate carcinoma it's the most common part that get involved in case of prostate carcinoma also there is a two lateral lobe which is basically situated on the either side of the urethra which is basically situated on the either side of the urethra and they are commonly enlarged in case of benign prostatic hypertrophy as well 